Hey everyone, today we're going to explore OpenAI's new product, Codex. This product allows OpenAI to integrate with the GitHub repository and basically give it access to a machine to clone this repo onto and perform actions. You can ask it questions about your repo, as well as have it perform actions such as fix bugs, add features, create architecture diagrams, and more. So let's go ahead and take it for a spin. I've already configured it to use the Temporal Python Samples repository, and I'm going to use Codex to do a couple of different things to improve this repository. First, I'm going to ask it to tell me which temporal features are demonstrated in the code within this repository, as well as what features are missing from this repository. This will help us identify potential gaps in our sample's coverage as new features are getting added to temporal. Next, I'm going to task it to create some new samples for me. I want to have some samples that demonstrate integrating temporal with common Python web frameworks. Let's do Django, Flask, and Fast API. I'm going to do these as separate tasks to take advantage of codec support for multiple concurrent tasks. Now that I've kicked these off, we have to wait for the runners to execute them. I have previously configured these runners to install the appropriate Python packages necessary for this repo to run and be tested. We can look inside one of these runners and get a glimpse of what is happening during this process. The interesting part here is all of these tasks are being run in parallel, whereas if I was using a typical AI IDE plugin, I'd be bound to only doing one task at a time. You can kind of imagine this as having an army of junior developers at your disposal. While inspecting the logs of the process, you can see exactly what the AI is doing as it solves your problem. You can see how it's interacting with the files, testing its solution, and correcting its mistakes. Now that the runners have finished their tasks, let's look at the results. First, let's look at the question we asked about missing samples. As we see, it identified which samples were present, but also some samples that are missing. Let's now task it to implement one of these. Next, let's look at the framework suggestions. I see that the unit test that Codec wrote failed because it couldn't get a dependency. It's interesting to note that after the initial setup, these prompts are run in an air-gapped environment, that is to say, with no network access to prevent potential misuse. I'll need to test this manually myself to ensure correctness, but this looks good enough to start with. I can now create a pull request against this repo so my colleagues and I can review it and get it officially added to our samples repository. So this is only scratching the surface of all of the cool things that you can do with Codex. And, as a fun fact, Codex is actually built on Temporal. So, what are you going to use Codex for? Leave your answers in the comments below, and happy hacking!